Yo, what's up everyone? It's Pink Arms back at it with another video, and today we're going to be going over another remix. <laughs> um, this time it was for a class assignment. I was given an assignment that was like, hey, rewrite something. And I love music, and I was using this class to, one, a brush up on like some new editing techniques and stuff, even though it was mostly like studying films, kind of. And I wanted to also try to work on mostly song stuff, so any project was always like centered around music for the most part. The original idea was just to remix a song that I like from Jeremy Zucker in general, but my professor wanted a video aspect. So what did I do? Look for music videos. And this song I didn't know beforehand, so I'm glad I got to it when I did. This song, it hit, it hit a chord within me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep milking that joke since I'm in this setup, which is literally just my room and we're not in the basement as you can tell by the like past month's videos. <laughs> Let's get started on this remix of Jeremy Zucker's I Don't Know Love or ID King Love, whatever you want to call it. I didn't like that framework. <laughs> so the first thing I did was of course like any other remix I've been doing to make it more cute in a way was to pitch it up. And the song was originally in F major so I pitched it up three cents or three semitones. And uh, so now it's in G sharp major. So if you heard the original song, I'll leave a link in the description. You know what it sounds like, but this is what his pitch up will sound like. With the summer sun over us. Yeah, good on you, Jeremy. So the first element of this song is the piano, and it's comprised of two sounds. One, an actual piano, and this kind of bassy sound. So this is the piano. And as you can see, this is called Sad Mel because it was used for the melody in my sad um, video. For those that remember that XXX video that I did. XXX Tentacion, come on, did you get your mind out the gutter, man? So this is what that sounds like. Brief intermission. Laptop is gonna die. Jeez. There you go. All right, we're good. <laughs> Second thing that I did was like these roads. This was literally just me sitting with like my MIDI board, just playing around, and came up with this. So then from Citrus, we have this sound called Tybitron. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and it sounds like this. There's also this sound which I got from Citrus Square Purity and then I just messed around with it. Uh, so it gets some kind of distant, and this is what what came out of it. We're then introduced to the kicks, which are just simple kicks. You know, four on the floor. Uh, for those that don't know, that means it's a, a, on every fourth of the beat. I learned that recently, thanks to a genius video. Thanks, genius, that you made. Me, and now, my audience, geniuses. There's also like these claps that are kind of like, not really offbeat, but they're like, not where they usually should be, if that makes any sense. Because that's what the, what the original song kind of did, it's like on every fourth, there was um, a snare or a clap. So I kind of wanted to uh, emulate that. So this is the bass line. This was for some reason the most difficult part of the song for me because like I could have just left it without a bass but it didn't feel complete and once I figured it out it gave it like a much needed groove so this is what the bass sounds like. Like, 
oh my god i was so happy when i finally figured that out in the original song there's this cute little like little melody that goes on in the back and i wanted to keep it in there especially since it was pitched up it sounded i guess more cute so i try to emulate it and this is what came out So the song mellows out for the most part until we come back to the chorus it starts getting more of a bounce and it starts like to be more active um so i added more percussion and changed the kicks up a bit so the first thing that we're introduced to in my remix is the shakers which sound like this there are these kicks so there's kind of like this add-on for like the claps and it sounds like this and that's practically it. What I'm going to do for this video, I'm going to put that video that I cut up for that class at the end. So instead of the usual, just audio preview, you're going to get the full thing. Okay? It's just for y'all. How was it? Was it good? Was it bad? Um, either this, the breakdown, or the other video that I cut up itself. Let me know if you figured out the other meaning that I added on to the video um, by the way that I like cut it up and rearranged it yeah let me know what other songs you want me to recreate remix or sample in the comments down below uh make sure to listen to the podcast and check out the links below for my uh social media and i'll see you guys in the next video It's easier cause I know